So looking ahead to Friday's clash with Finn Harps, which will take place in Finn Park, Bally Buffet at 5.45. The game will be live on Watch LOI. And I'm joined by Lee Desmond for a quick chat. Lee, how are you? All good, Jay. How are you? Yeah, very good. Thank you. Lee is also on our virtual press conference duty this week. And just back from the beach, Lee, and there was almost a Shamrock Rover St. Pat's Dublin Derby on the beach, I believe, in the recovery day. Yeah, we were down the beach this morning, um, just doing a bit of recovery, getting in the cold water. And just as we were leaving, Shamrock Rovers were arriving. So that would have been interesting if we were there at the same time. But uh, yeah, hopefully we didn't clash. Yeah, that's a real greatest league in the world story. But it shows, I suppose, for all the clubs how busy this period is, Lee. The game on Tuesday night, recovery Wednesday, train Thursday, and then a long trip to face Finn Harps on Friday. So it's a busy few days, but I'm sure the win on Tuesday night makes it all that little bit easier. Yeah, exactly. It is a tough schedule, but it is a lot easier when you're winning. You just sort of roll into games and the body doesn't hurt as much, you know. So maybe maybe some of it's in your mind when when you're feeling tired and stuff like that, if you're not getting results. But luckily for us at the minute, we are. Uh, so long may it continue. Yeah, another clean sheet on Tuesday evening. Um, From speaking to Steve McDonnell after the match, he seems quite happy with the defensive aspect of the team. You've been ever present in the games. Um, You performed really well. And, you know, with a 19-year-old goalkeeper behind you, and we've played a couple of different partners with you at centre-back and at the full-back positions, you must be quite happy with how things are going at that end because defenders always want clean sheets. Yeah, we were we were delighted to get the win and obviously a clean sheet. I don't think we actually played too well last night for like for all the ball we had and stuff. We probably uh, could have created more chances and just had a bit more quality all over the park. But as you said, another clean sheet. Um, lots of minutes for lads who haven't had uh, minutes so far, the likes of Ben McCormick and even another star for Paddy Barris. That'll do him well now going into the next couple of games. Um, Alfie Lewis, so... Plenty of positives, but we know we can be better. Yeah, the away matches last year against Finn Harps, Lee, weren't too successful. The defeat in the FAI Cup and that 3-2 defeat in the league as well. They've started the season quite well under Ollie Horgan. And Finn Park is always one of the most difficult away venues to go to, isn't it? Yeah, look, I remember a few years ago, there used to be an idea that like Finn Harps was a handy game. But that idea is long gone now. And they've started the season really well. And we know we're, we're in for a very tough match now up there be a different type of game than the other teams we played so far. They give us a different challenge because they're so physical. They're a very tall side as well. So it'd be something new for us to do. And we're going up confident anyway. We're definitely going to win the game. Yeah, I know they would be very physically strong, but they've also got lots of good footballers and they mix their game up and they've got a a long throw. They're quite strong on set pieces. So as a centre-back and as a defender, I'm sure you're expecting to be a busy man on Friday night. Yeah, I'm expecting it to be a proper old school battle, to be honest. But as you said, you know, they've added quality players over the last couple of years that maybe they didn't have, uh, say, when I came to the Pats at first, like the likes of Barry McNamee and them boys, and obviously Dave Webster, who I played with, are saying Pats. So they have got quality, but they haven't lost that real uh, fighting attitude that they've always had as well. And Lee, just lastly, the start of the season, six games in, 14 points unbeaten. Um, a couple of other teams, Shamrock Rovers and Sligo Rovers, the same. It's a good start, isn't it? It is, but as you said, it's only a start. Um, you know, even even the games where we have dropped points, we've been disappointed conceding late goals to Rovers and Dundalk. And that's that's probably where the mentality has changed a bit because over the years, you'd be delighted to get a point in Oriel or in Tallow. So it's a good start, long way to go. And we just have to take it one game at a time.